Hello guys, welcome back to play here with you and today we're gonna go through the Playbox version 2 uh, initial video and we're gonna go and see the basic stuff uh, as I'm planning to do extra videos specifically on how you set up um, with a simplified uh, version uh, or method of uh, applying your overlays and bezels to the RetroArch cores uh, on Playbox version 2 and specifically this one is the to play loaded version where I call it to play presents Rick uh, Dangerous and uh, Spiral Dragon the two uh, builders creation it has all the room sets uh, from uh, the 256 or the yeah, the 256 uh, of Rick Dangerous uh, some uh, additions that uh, the both builders work together and of course my Playbox version 2 with a new toolkit the new um, uh, simplified uh, cleaned up uh, menu um, and a lot of stuff that I automated and added uh, thanks uh, to your request for the past uh, couple of years I would say now a few words about what happened and why the delay of uh, an extra year uh, when I released uh, in November 2018 version 1 uh, I started working on version 2 on Pi 3B uh, and uh, a lot of things changed uh, I had for example already a year ago the Naomi and Atomis Wave on Playbox version 2 and 3B uh, then initially was the rumors about the Pi 4 coming out then we had it by the end of the year and beginning of 2020 uh, my friend a virtual man started working and he got one he wanted my beta playbook version because I created a beta version for the Pi 4 and then he put a lot of work to create the releases that he had and you guys enjoyed for the past few months so then I decided to uh, scrap uh, what I did um, on uh, 3b I start from scratch on uh, Pi 4 and um, I did the whole thing from the beginning again I changed the structure of the playbox so now we have the new folders we have uh, a new folder called playbox setup we have a github for automatic updates on uh, there similar to playbook to retro Pi setup uh, this will call additional um, updates post fixes updates that uh, I might apply after the release and the main one we just update all the main things in the playbook setup and um, this setup has um, uh, the toolkit the new toolkit version 2 is just a single script of more than 3200 uh, plus lines of code everything is integrated in one single script so uh, I don't use this old style that I had that's as I said I changed the structure of uh, the playbox and it's in, uh, it was created on a clean uh, Raspberry OS um, Buster uh, OS uh, Debian OS so uh, we, we started from there and uh, I finished uh, with everything that you guys asked throughout the months I had a delay of about six months because of real life uh, um, things that I have to attend and uh, work obligations and uh, for the last nine months it is just like let's say with the quarantine and everything I had the chance to come up and create the first builders edition so anyway uh, let's move on I want to show you the playbox version 2 on the loaded image release so we have you hear background music we have three options that you can choose from the toolkit so this is uh, free um, copyright free uh, music so let's set up the controller this is a third party Esperanza uh, PS2 lookalike um, third party controller 
So let's go deep high, up and down, left, right, start and select. Now, um, as you know, the Xbox has the A button on the bottom of the four uh, round buttons. Uh, for example, where is the X button on the PlayStation? And that's how I do it instead of how you being prompted from the ES setup to have it where the uh, round is on the PlayStation or the actual B on the Xbox controller. So I'm gonna have this down, then I'm gonna, it's like reversed in a way, but you can do as you wish, like, you know, if you want that, because for example, my friend Rick uh, Dangerous, he's just putting as he, um, ES uh, recommends, and then he reversed for his own test. I, I prefer to do it right away from there. I reverse the buttons from here to match how Xbox 360 controllers are. So A on the bottom. And uh, the same with X and Y. So X goes where the square is and the triangle where Y. Now we have left shoulder, right shoulder, right trigger, right trigger, left and right thumb. So now let's get started. So we have Cody, the default region setup of this release has the EU Japan setting with Cody and uh, depending on your uh, location you can select the US Cody EU Cody leave it there or you can have all both of these options uh, selected and of course there is the other three options one two and three but instead of Cody you have the playbox uh, logo and art so let's go in I want to show you some things so this is one of the styles that I have for the game list view. So we have the video playing, big video and the small icon on the bottom under the, the game list. And as you hear, when the video plays, the snap video, there's no background music. I have set it up, this is one of the settings, and you can select uh, three options. You can have music and snap video playing at the same time, or you can have the video snap totally off and only playing uh, the background music. Uh, I will explain all these things. If you want to have both playing at the same time with background music, you just have to go to If you want to disable totally the video, so you can do that one of the three options is this one, you can just uh, click here to back off so there's no sound on the video so only the background music plays all the time so I'm gonna go back and I think it's here on other settings you're gonna go on the US OMX player hardware accelerator you put this to off and that's gonna have both the video snap sound and the background music playing at the same time so we'll leave it as is so we're gonna go back and we're gonna continue to see the rest of the system. So we have the OS desktop for the Raspberry OS. It's a Debian-based computer OS for Raspberry Pi. It has the description, use RDP desktop, a fork of LXDE. Initial release was on 27th of September, 2013. So we'll go in. So this is a video from the desktop that I have set on this image on the Playbox version two. So you have the background with the logo of Playbox version 2. You have the custom uh, Chromium and you can update with the latest updates now in December to the 84 version. So we go back. Options. Now this is a cleaner setup I have on the RetroPie menu. I removed some scripts that are not needed anymore. So we have the same folders, emulation tools, network tools, system tools, visual and theme tools and the rest so you have so sorry for that so the RetroPie setup we have the system info and whether by uh, to play is a bigger um, script that you see when you exit with F4 um, or you can connect with um, the party so you can see the SSH uh, message of the day which is just like the logo of uh, Playbox and um, 
we have the playbox toolkit the new one and you can switch from here to attract mode if you use this one and we're just gonna do it then we're going to go back to the es you just go to the uh, setup menu of hyper uh, pi attract mode and you click on the es icon and it will take you back and set everything as it was so we go back and let's check out we have the steam client we have the pi galaxy uh, gog um, client so you can set up and connect to uh, play your games that you have with them and um, this one uh, it's uh, removed from retro price setup because the code uh, by the initial creators was not updated for pi 4 so i fixed that and now this is working uh, here too so let's go we have ports so let's go and take the ports we have the sea dogs sdl we have cannibal ball outrun engine or oh, something for you to notice that um all of these uh thanks to um uh initial setup of uh, rig dangerous all of the rom says they have box art instead of um uh, pictures of the actual game and you have the gameplay video the video snap on the right so we have the cape story we have the commander genius and uh, we have all of the available commander genius games in here so it's at least nine if i have a uh, quarter or more so we have the descent to rebirth we have the descent rebirth we have the doom freedom phase one and two we have the Doom 2, we have the Brutal Doom version 21.5, which is about a month old, it's the latest one. So, uh, as you can see from the video, it has a lot of splatter and more blood uh, effects and stuff like that. We have the Duke, sorry, it's my jumpy third party key, uh, controller. We have Duke Nukem 3D. We have the Fist Village, that was a request by Rick Dangerous. Uh, it's a nice uh, puzzle game from Czech Republic, actually developed. We have the Iron Fury. We have Jump and Bump. We have Open Tyrion, Prince of Persia, Quake, Quake 3 Arena. We have Side of the Beast Legacy Project. It's a nice project uh, that um, I'm very happy I found online the creator. So he has uh, a main runner program that uh, calls all three uh, games uh, you're gonna need the keyboard for this uh, to start so basically you can when you start it you go up and down you select uh, side of the beast one two or three uh, and as you can read on the description the side of the beast one is hundred percent integrated side of the beast two is 15 percent and then we have side of the beast three which is 99 percent and i know on the forum he said that he will be finishing quite soon that too so it's very easy to update and uh, now that i have the github uh, i will uh, happily set up all the scripts and stuff that i have here it will be updated by the playbook setup which is within the toolkit and any extra tweaks and features uh, need to be updated then toolkit will just call the recommended script and uh, update what is needed so we have the sonic robo blast 2 it's uh, based on uh, the doom uh, kind of style engine and uh, it's with our friend sonic we have the super flappy birds we have super mario war super tax the urquan masters which is an updated port of star control 2 game and we have uh, this is an adventure uh, shoot em up um, a kind of gen, uh, genre game we have the VVV VVVV uh, game we have the Wolfenstein 3D Spare of Destiny and we have the x uh standalone game it's not the core one so we go back alright so let's move to the next one so we have Amstrad CPC, we have 30 games available on this one. We have uh, the Macintosh. 
So you can see the system software 755 Mac OS. So that's something that we can use later on having some Mac games in here. And we can go down here, select shut down, and you shut down the Mac OS. We have arcade 255 games available to go through. Uh, and another thing I want to say that uh, the Playbox version 2 has the Pi Marquis enabled so you have uh, by default a logo displaying on the uh, second uh, HDMI uh, and when you enter the games you're going to see the bezels of that games if they doesn't exist it will just play again the default one so to see this setup, you just have to connect a second monitor to your second HDMI port on your Pi 4 and automatically the Pi 4 will see if you have one or two monitors and enable or not the uh, Pi marquees. So we go next Atari 830 games, we have Atari 2670 games, Atari 7820 games, Atari Lynx 25 games and I'm gonna go in because I would like to show you the bezels just to give you a heads up so uh, basically what I wanted to have the handhelds have their own um, uh, bezels uh, I created uh, all uh, new bezels just for the playbox they're all located with CFGs and the art inside the uh, uh, the folders called opts slash retropie slash configs slash retro arc slash overlay and inside you're going to see a folder called playbox and it has everything there including a text file that has all the special settings you need the viewport settings for having the screen displayed correctly on let's say in this example the links with a small screen so we have one bezel that I call full so you can see the full console handheld or you have one that has bigger uh, you see just few buttons and a bigger a main screen and of course we have a third option which I'm going to show to all of you how to set up with a classic generic uh, look like screen and a bigger screen in the middle um, now all of these are on uh, retro art of course so I'm exiting and another thing you're going to notice, uh, you're going to see that some systems are not the usual short uh, style by ES. And the reason is that you can see all of my themes, uh, the, the new themes, Epic Noir style that I created, like this one, the Epic Marvel um, World. You're going to see on the top there is the year of creation, what type, if it's a handheld, a console, or a software engine or something. Then we have the company, in our case is uh, Atari Corporation. Then we have the model, Atari Lynx. So uh, everything is sorted and all of the themes, they have the company name first and then the model. So all the models under one company is under, uh, will be under that company. For example, you're going to see uh, first, first the sorting by company name then we're going to have within the company sorting by uh, following by the model for example all the nintendo consoles and handhelds handhelds are all under the nintendo uh, company so let's move on we go to as you can see it's bandai co uh, ltd and we have the swan crystal which is the newer uh, model of uh, wonder swan uh, wonder swan color uh, and as you can see with Atari and now we have Bandai that's why Swan Crystal is here so we have the Commodore we have the C64 we have the Commodore Amiga we have the Amiga 1200 we have the Amiga CD32 10 games just to repeat okay C64 135 games Amiga 190 games Amiga 1200 or Amiga a a GA based on the chipset uh, 40 games CD32 10 games now we have the General Consumer Electronics Backtracks uh, console 20 games 
we have uh, from the Love, uh, Love developers the Love engine. It's a 2D, 2D game engine with one game. We have the, from the Libretto team the Lutro Core behind games. It's another 2D uh, game engine. And Lutro basically is a subset. Uh, it's an engine based on a subset of the code of um, the Love. Now we have the Microsoft MS DOS, 45 games, and uh, we had some special request by Rick, so you can see Warcraft, Warcraft 2, Out. So let's go back. That's another request deal of the Jungle Trilogy. So we go next MSX 10 games from Sony, Sony, Panasonic, JVC, and other creators. We have MSX 2, 20 games from Philips, Sony, Sony, and Toshiba. Then we have uh, the Neck Home Electronics, we have the PC Engine, which is also the TG16. We have the PC Engine CD or TG16 uh, CD. 50 games, 70 games on the PC Engine. We have Super Graphics, um, 5 games. We have the Nintendo N64, 20 games. Nintendo NDS, 30 games. Nintendo NES, 150 games. That's the Nintendo Entertainment System. The Nintendo Family Computer, the Japanese version, 25 games. Nintendo FDS, 10 games. Nintendo Game Boy 25 games, Nintendo Game Boy Advance 100 games, Nintendo Game Boy Color 25 games. Uh, Rick did great, great work on uh, picking up these uh, ROM sets and creating uh, these ROM sets. We have the Nintendo Game and Watch all 59 available games, Nintendo Super Famicom 80 games, Nintendo. Satellite View, which is a console add-on for the Super Famicom system. Uh, that's a little bit uh, quite particular the system because it used to get uh, downloaded uh, uh, game packs uh, from uh, um, the um, satellite radio system. And uh, I want to show you because some games they don't load directly, so basically you have to uh, get uh, from the uh, virtual, let's say, computer telling you that you don't have a connection. So basically, you find yourself like a little boy in a city, you just go back to that building, then you select uh, to the next question by the computer uh, telling you what you want to do. You say select that you're going to load the package and then it loads. So we're going to do that later on, not now. We're going to go, and uh, next one is Bandai Sufami Turbo. That's another. Nintendo Super Famicom uh, console add-on uh, for it was Japan. I think it was a total 13 games. We have five here. We have SNES 170 games. We have the Super Game Boy 25 games available. So that was another console add-on for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, and that plays all the Game Boy, but with uh, color uh, additions and. Uh, uh, better graphics. So we have the Sonic Corporation Atomis Wave, 10 games. We have from Ludwig Strigius, who was the creator of the Prince and Ham Scam VM team, the Scam VM, and the five games. We have the Sega Dreamcast, 182 games. We have the Sega Game Gear, 30 games. We have the Sega Master System, 60 games. Sega Mega 32, 15 games. Mega CD, 40 games. Mega Drive 245. As we said, this is the EU version set. So on yours, if you change to US, you're gonna see Genesis instead. We have the SG1000, 15 games. We have the Star Corporation X68000 from computer, 20 games. ZX Spectrum from Sinclair Research and Timex Corporation, 130 games. SNK Corporation, Neo Geo AES. Uh, the 16 bit console. We have the Neo Geo CD 
from SNK Corporation again. We have the SNK Corporation NZ Pocket Color 20 games. We have from Christophe and Solarus Team the Solarus uh, 2D game engine. We have uh, all 10 available released games. This is for all people that love this adventure game style Zelda. So we have the the uh, DeFi or DeFi Dizelto, if I say that correct. Uh, this is Osana's Revenge, uh, one of the newest ones. Uh, released The Legend of Zelda XD2, The Book of Mudora, The Mystery of Solarus DX and XD. And if you let this scroll, you can see the version that is on there. That was uh, from uh, even, I think, most of them in my version 1 or version 2 that I was creating on Pi 3B and I'm going to make and I'm going to port this setup to Pi 3B so all of you that don't have a Pi 4 you can still enjoy uh, this setup and the Playbox version 2 on your Pi 3Bs now we have the tunics uh, and then the last one is the Yarn Town which is one of the newest releases again then we have the Sony PlayStation, 250 games by Eric Dangerous. We have the Sony PSP, 25 games. The N64 and PSP has uh, the best I could as to play a specific setup for these systems. Uh, so you can play uh, as good as you can and uh, even God of War, for example, Saints of Olympus. So Ghost of Sparta is even heavier and um, the PSP this is a custom uh, uh, as per release notes uh, binary that supports and has enabled the Vulkan support so when the Vulkan driver is fully enabled on Pi 4 you can uh, change or via the toolkit or by the menu of PPS, uh, PP emulator and set to Vulkan and uh, hopefully it's going to be better and the same thing uh, Vulkan supported, supported from uh, Mupen64 Next Plus and uh, let's hope this is gonna do some better view for N64 so we can continue to Chandra Computers Oric the five games basically are mostly uh, demos that this is automatically default uh, installs uh, by uh, the Resort Price setup. We have the Z machine that includes the three games Zork 1, 2, and 3. These are text adventure games uh, created by Joel uh, Beres and Mark Blank and, and released by Infocom. So we have uh, the uh, collections created by Rick Dangerous, the action collection, action adventure, adventure. Beat em up, fighting, fixed screen, something that I enabled. It's games like Pac Man. So we have kids' game, we have pinball games, we have platform games, puzzle games, racing games, rhythm, role playing games, shoot em up, simulation games, sport games, uh, strategy games, and this is the total set. So we have the favorites. My last played, and we're going back to Cody. So the last thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to go to exit by pressing F4. We're going to the CLI, the command line interface, and you can see the message of the day uh, that you see the Playbox logo for the CLI. It has the information of what kernel you see have on the top, the Raspbian OS 10 Buster, the date. The uptime, 16 minutes, we're running it. It's running on the, the Pi user and uh, on the terminal uh, one. Uh, it says Sunday. Uh, this is the login, the last login at 5 o'clock local time. Then we have some system info. I've enabled uh, three stuff. So basically, we have the SD boot partition, the SD or USB boot partition. So this one, um, you don't see anything on the first one because I'm not using an SD card, but I'm using uh, the image is burned on an SSD Ultra 2 Sun disk. Uh, and uh, you can see the full size, 441 gigs. It's used uh, 324 gigs. 
and available another 104 gigs. So we have then the external USB uh, or USB boot. So we have 253 megs. So that's why you, you see here, this is the boot and not the root. They're in the between, sorry, it was the root and the top is the SD boot partition because we don't have an SD card right now. So the boot partition on the external USB or USB, it's 253 megs, 54 used and 199 available. Um, and uh, when you have, because I have the USB external script, an updated script to have the ROMs or on an NTFS uh, external drive uh, that uh, was created by um, um, our friend Easy Hacks, uh, aka Forest. And uh, here you can have, um, when you have, let's say, an SD card and you have the external drive, all your own on the external drive, so you use this combination, then you're going to have the SD boot populated and you're going to see the USB, X, USB you're going to have uh, all the extra info from there. Now we go to, um, I have the model, Raspberry Pi 4 Model B Revision 1.1, that's a 2 megabyte, sorry, 2 gigabyte model that I'm uh, developing uh, Playbox and uh, you can see the temperature cpu temperature 47 celsius or 116 fahrenheit the gpu temperature the hardware model then we have the gpu version and we have the memory available and total and we have the local ip and i'm gonna go and press up on my um, keyboard and you can see the uh, pre-populated uh, I think six seven commands that I have on the history so we have you can call the emulation station you can start it up you can start the retro pie setup you can have the two play uh, two uh, p fix playbox so that uh, toolkit uh, we have the start x will start the desktop the skyscraper the raspberry config and just a message for me welcome to playbox to play so I'm going to start the, the new version 2 toolkit. So you can see Playbox toolkit. The toolkit is part of the Playbox project I started back in 2018. Automation is and fixes as I intended for you guys. So anything you requested, I've added. And has now even uh, from a couple of users that they wanted to have a video sat down in case you have it on a big arcade to show or emulate that if you're turning off an old TV, you know, you this kind of scratchy thing and then everything zooms in the center of the CRT mo monitor and uh, set down. So we'll have a new video there. So you're going to see I'm going to try to record it when I set down. So we have the new toolkit, which I'm going to make a separate video and explain all these options, the fixes. We have the apps and tweaks, the cleanup tools. So you can clean up a lot of stuff uh, from uh, your... Uh, base and your image well the system tool options many you can upgrade the os and the firmware everything is all automated we have the thank you notes here and credits to all of you that supported uh, or uh, by donating few of you or uh, mentally and supporting uh, the, the discord group and people and of course like you know for just sending me a couple few good words to keep me motivated and going we have the new updated update your playbook setup with this one you just run it and then once a uh, few of you are going to have it um, the release and now since now it's public i'm going to enable the public zip hub and you can click here and you can get any changes i do on the code we get it automatically you don't have to type anything from your side uh, so it's similar to the retrofy setup so it will update your script and do all the necessary steps no more you have to do this this and that after what you did uh, so basically if you do the fix option for let's say you updated your retro pie menu and of course everything going to be messed up you can click there then it will be the region everything needed to be uh, will run automatically for you now we have the option to power off and restart so i'm going to power off so you can see the video for shut down and again thank you very much for your support and help and understanding and patience all this time i wish all of you uh, merry christmas happy holidays enjoy this release by uh, 
Rick Dangerous and uh, uh, my new friend Spyro the Dragon. So these two new uh, in the scene builders created this loaded image on my playbooks version 2. And again, thank you all and thanks the two builders and enjoy the release. Please, if you like what you see and you want me to keep going, just like uh, uh, subscribe and support me in your way by a few good words or any way you want. So I'm gonna power off. Thank you again. There you are.